Hey everybody, it's Party Elite kicking off my Crone Hellebron Vortex campaign Let's Play today with early access thanks to the wonderful folks at Creative Assembly who keep sending me keys that help me maintain my youthful exuberance. I've got detailed breakdowns of all the new factions and lords and start positions in a couple of videos linked in the description down below, but after such a long wait, I want to waste a little time with any more of an introduction. I wish to bathe in the blood of my slaves. Let's kick things off. The world has seen countless murders, but one killing stands above all others. One death that has shaped the world. Malekith, son of Enerion, was betrayed. The elven princes crowned Belshanar as the second Phoenix King. Sir Malekith brooded and poured his hate into a single cup. Malekith toasted Belshanar, then stepped over his dying body and into the sacred flame of kings. But the fire stripped his flesh, and with a final scream, he hurled himself back from whence he came. His body was taken north, and a suit of armor forged Malekith was reborn. The Witch King. And in his shadow, legions raised. Decades of civil war followed. Then Malekith embarked on the most ruthless of plans. His sorcerers would unbind the magic of the Great Vortex. Created by Kalidor Dragon Tamer and his elven mages, the Vortex siphons the winds of magic, keeping the demon tide at bay. Malekith's spell was flung at the Vortex, but Kalidor himself broke through the mists of time to deflect the titanic force back at its casters. The Shadowlands were ravaged, sundered, Highness, you bring this witch here. She is well versed in law and prophecies. She will betray you, my son, as all have done. She is indebted to me. I have her soul. Step forward, Felician the Heartkeeper. The comet disrupts the vortex. Whilst it is weak, a prophecy can be fulfilled. Of a king who consumes the heart of Ulfwan. My son will take its power and our vengeance. Find the Oracle. She knows what to do. I am willing to serve to earn my soul's release. All right, I had to let that video play through. I just love those opening lines and Malekith's voice. Oh my god, so good. Um, but for now, let's dive right into the campaign map and take a look at the starting situation for Crone, Helebron, and Harganeth. Cain, I stand before you seeking the pleasures of war. Blood will flow, and I shall bathe this ravaged body anew. Something calls to me from across the seas. A weapon of great power that bears the mark of my lord. With it, I will pierce the heart of Ulthwan and seize control of the Vortex. 
there is beauty in violence, ecstasy in carnage. All that stand before me are mere vermin. They shall feel no mercy as I unleash horror and torment upon them, as with everything in my way. The masters of Nagaroth sit idle in their towers, bar one. Marathi's pets, the treacherous Druki of Grond. For them, pain awaits. For I am the Hag Queen of Harganeth. Let the screams of Death Knight echo across the world. All right, let's get this show on the road. If you really want to learn about the new faction mechanics and the lords for all the new factions, uh, including Aleth Anar, I have a video linked in the description down below. I'm not going to explain, like, you know, Death Knight and everything in this video, um, but we are going to play through like a normal, normal, uh, normal session. So Grand Settlement is the first target. We did see that they had a... Uh, an army over here so what i'm thinking is we'll push in and take spite reach which is the obvious target here they probably don't even have much of a garrison yeah so we'll roll in on that and then we'll move into grand as quickly as possible and uh maybe we'll take this on our way over now as many of you know i like to play on hard very hard because very hard in legendary campaign difficulty the ai is just cheating way too much and it's just it drains the fun out of it for me i like to try some fun things when i can and very hard battle difficulty because uh i like a challenge on the battlefield still um and part of that is because i like to role play rather than min max as many of you know so my plans for this campaign are well i'm definitely going to be taking care of marathi and we know why that is i am crone hellebron after all but first of all after taking care of grand over there and settling a grudge as it were i want to take the shrine of cain get the sword of cain and cause so much damage to ulthuan that's my first target i think i'm going to take avalorn take ulthuan and then we'll deal with uh you know the rest of my objectives now the main objectives are uh of course complete all the rituals and win the final battle but, uh, you know, the uh, the scrolls will, of course, help me get those rituals done. Funnily enough, this might actually be the first Vortex campaign that I complete. Because my previous one, the Skrulk one, was interrupted by um, by the release of Mortal Empires in the Queek campaign. So, eh, we'll see how this goes. So, I don't need to fight this one. I'm going to auto-resolve this. Let's auto-resolve it. And we actually lost a unit of Dark Shards. Are you kidding me? Come on now. All right, fine. Close victory. I'll take it. And we'll loot and occupy. We do need the slaves, and we also need uh, money. Dare. Always need money. Okay, cool. Physical resistance, 15%. All right, cool. Let's, all right, off to a good start. Everything's fantastic. More money, more problems. As they say, capture a province. So this, the Road of Skulls, has the Black Pillar. Not really looking to start a fight, but maybe... Actually, you know what? This can wait. This can wait. I want to go and take Grand first. They've got that army. It's probably recruiting already, and I don't want to have to deal with that. Let's repair a couple of these things, though, and let's also get um, the Halls of Mustering to get Bleak Swords and Dark Shards coming ASAP. This is Population Surplus 2, eh? Wondering what my options are over here. I'd like to get uh, the... In Harganeth, I'd like to get the torture posts right away. They'll help public order, which I'm notorious for having trouble with, and then fighting pits to get those Sisters of Slaughter immediately. It's fitting. I want Sisters of Slaughter and uh, Witch Elves as soon as possible, more or less. But having some Shades wouldn't be a bad idea either. Or, you know, having some Dark Riders. I don't have any cavalry in my starting army. Uh, so, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go with the Plateau of Dark Steeds. So that way I'll have Bleak Swords, uh, Dark Shards, Dark Shards with Shields, and some Cavalry as well. Lowly Cavalry, but Cavalry nonetheless. And the uh, next step will be to get the Torture Posts, or actually perhaps the Altar of Cain first, so I can get the Witch Elves going. Again, I want to go kind of Witch Elf, Sister of Slaughter Heavy as soon as possible. We have actually got Crone, Hellebron upgrading here. Uh, yeah, let's go with that. It's always step one for me. Okay, that's good. Let's recruit some units in here. Get some Bleak Swords. Bleak swords. Get some bleak swords. Get some dark shards. That should be good. We did lose. Actually, you know what? We lost a unit of dark shards, which is ridiculous. So let's go with three dark shards. We'll get some more bleak swords. We'll head our, We'll head down to Harganeth and move up to Grand and recruit our way over. And over here, let's go with Founded on Tyranny for the extra growth. We'll get Revel in Suffering as well for the extra growth. I'd like to go down those building chains as quickly as possible. Again, I'd like to get uh, some of those higher tier units out ASAP. End the turn there. And uh, yeah, we'll just push into Grand next turn and maybe you know take that province as a whole 
What's up with these guys? Do these guys like me? No, they don't like me. Ah, they're okay with me. They're okay with me. I'm just wondering what I have to deal with at home before I head over to Ulthuan. Definitely Grand, obviously. And then, hey, there we go. Capture and occupy Gain Vale to get Kane's Reward. Right. So there are two of these, actually. Kane's Reward will make sure that this can only go down so far. It can only go down so far. It'll free up one of these slots or lock one of those slots. And then there's the other one, which is by taking, um, oh, the ancient city of Quintex. Yeah. So if you take this as well, that gives you Marathi's Secrets. And that'll, of course, help by, again, blocking another one off. So you never actually get the negative traits. You just go as far down as respected. Um, and we also get the Purge of Chaos, which will help us later. But first things first is, is Old Thuan. Uh, search any ruined settlement for treasure. Okay, that makes this a bit more tempting. But there's also the Great Arena down here. And I don't know if that's actually a Skaven old. We'll find out eventually. Grond is the next target. The missions are uh, merely suggestions. Let's get some more Dread Spears in here and another unit of Dark Shards. And then next turn, I'll be able to recruit some cavalry as well as uh, some Bleak Swords so that I have an actual, you know, army going rather than whatever this is. We do have the Hargoneth Executioners and Sisters of Slaughter, though, so that'll be helpful. Um, what else have we got going on? Public Order is going down. Do not vex us further. But that's because of provincial instability, right? Yeah, so it'll be fine. We're looking good. It's weird having these fast turns at the beginning. And it's also going to be strange keeping an eye out on my economy. I'm so used to uh, the Tomb Kings campaign where money did not matter. And the um, that Mortal Empire's Quick campaign, money did not matter to me by the end of it. We've got plenty of it right now, though, but our income is pretty low. Uh, yeah, let's nudge forward just to the edge here. Yeah, see, they're recruiting right away. So by next turn, they'll have, uh, what, nine units? I've got 13. I could roll right in. No, you know what? This is this is not a proper army. Let's get ourselves some Dark Riders. And at least one unit of Bleak Swords. Jeez. A little bit on the pitiful side. Okay, let's do that for now. And maybe we can poke forward and see what's going on. Not really necessary. Yeah, not really necessary. We'll keep her in here for now, just in case they decide to venture forth and attack me. Don't want to be caught with my pants down. Do not want that to happen. And Death Knight drops actually pretty quickly as well. And the, the debuffs are huge. They can cause a lot of trouble, including things like Vigor, Physical Resistance Reduction. Like, it can, it can get bad. Like, we're Joyous right now, which is good. Uh, respected is alright, but look at that. Bitter is really bad. Really bad. So... Let's see here. We've got you upgrading. Let's go with damage walls because we can poke some holes into Grand. That way we don't have to wait out there. And they are still recruiting, so maybe I should push in. This might be a good enough army for now. I could get to nearly a full stack if I wanted to wait another turn. Because, yeah, they do have their garrison as well. So, you know what? Let's get, uh, get a couple more Bleak Swords. And one more unit of Dark Riders. God, the Dark Riders aren't really that good. Let's go with the... Let's go with another unit of Bleak Swords. All right, cool. That works for me. And then we'll move in next turn. Still waiting on population here. Who turns into a surplus? Okay. Yeah, the, the pace of the first couple... First handful of turns is really weird right now. Once I take this, I'll also have some more scrolls coming in, and then gold as well is going to help my WOW economy. <laughs> Jeez, I did not see that number go that far down that fast. Okay, let's go with growth still. The other option I was thinking was public order, but let's stick with growth. Public order will be fixing up soon enough. Yeah, might have a small rebellion to deal with, but whatever. We'll use that to level up our characters, and let's move on up as close as possible. Let's get you up to here. Yeah, see, they've got another army back here as well. It's not recruiting or anything, so that's good. The Death Hag could poke some holes in here, but you know what? I'd rather save the money. We might be baiting one of these armies out. We might bait these guys out to actually hit me. They might both come towards me. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens, but... Uh, yeah. we'll, we'll, keep, we'll keep the forces united here. And if that army... In fact, if I can eliminate one of these armies right now, then I don't actually... Uh, there we go. So they are coming out for me. Okay, okay. These two armies plus reinforcements together, I might want to back away, actually. Let's see. It's balanced. Ooh, just Caladriel and Calix. So the settlement reinforcements aren't here. I think I can take this on. 
Got some cavalry. They outnumber my cavalry. Also have a lot of spears. You know what? I think I can deal with this. To the battlefield we go. Let's put Caladriel in her place. All right. This will be... This will be good. We've got reinforcements coming from there. So if I can close the gap real fast-like, then uh, should be okay. Let's not waste any time here. Crone Hellebron is going to be better in battle than... Uh, her counterpart as well. And we can keep the Death Hag nearby as well. Move these guys as a unit. And let's see here. Let's see. We've got our main front line. I've got spears for days. Let's move you guys like this. Keep some of these spears back here to save our archers. If push comes to shove. We've got these guys up front. Yeah, you know, this this, this works for me. This works for me. And let's get these uh Dark Riders maybe tucked away into these trees over here just to push in and take care of uh, archers that stay behind because I believe they did have a couple of dark shards. Yeah, I think we're in a good spot here. Let's uh, let's kick it off. Oh, of course. Of course they're all the way over there. Why wouldn't they be all the way over there? That's a smart thing to do. So let's not move that far that fast. Let's do that. Keep these guys moving up over there because, yeah, you see, they do have some, some dark shards. We'll eliminate them pretty quickly, I think. Should not be a problem. All right, where are you going? What are you doing? Ah, this is just going to be... This battle is just going to take time. I just have to minimize my casualties, basically. And keep an eye on Gaze of Cain as well. Plus 25 melee attack, plus 25% weapon damage, and plus 8 leadership. Like, that's some huge stuff. It causes Rampage, but, I mean, if you, if you want those buffs, chances are uh, you want to be in that engagement anyway. All right, you guys should turn around like that. These guys are positioning for something. I don't like it. All right, all right. Closing the gaps, closing the gaps over here. Finding the space. Moving up to the edge of the trees so we can move in faster. Come on, come at me. I dare you. Oh, wait, no, they're actually coming at me. There's one unit of cavalry over there? No, there's two. Okay, cool. They're going to find the gap somehow. We're going to get some shots in here, get some damage in there. Okay, we're braced. Come on, come at me. Oh, Nope, don't come at me. All right, fair enough. Turn around like cowards instead. All right, here they come. Push in. Need to intercept this. Can't can't let the archers get hit. All right, we're still firing away. Let's push in over here. Okay, almost ready to fire away. You guys need to be pulled back. Let me line you up. Fire away. At yeah, whatever's nearby, really. Get you back here. Get you back here as well. Oh, damn. All right. They got me. Cleverly done. Time for counter charges. And I need to push into that. There we go. Fire away at some of those dark shards. Let's try and eliminate that nonsense. Okay, here we go. We're good over here. Get the Sisters of Slaughter in here. Hargonet Executioners. Where are you guys? Get you up in here. Let's actually try to get a flank going on over here. No, we've got those cavalry units over there. That's not a good idea. Stay over here. We've got these guys taking care of this nonsense. We're okay. We're okay. Just make sure we're doing work here. And where are our cavalry units? Wow, they are far away. Gotta move, guys. Gotta move. Okay, let's get the help in here as well. Okay. Yeah, these guys are gonna fall real fast. Especially with uh, the cavalry coming in. You know what? Let's try and... Actually, there isn't much else for me to work on here. How are we doing over here? We're okay back there. We're okay up front. These guys are pushing back again. I could fire into these Dread Spears because the cavalry is coming for these guys. And try and push into her. We're good over here. Oh, come on. Don't get intercepted. There we go. Chase into that. Yeah, we're fine. We're okay. Pull you back for... Actually, let's tie these Dread Spears down over there. Let's maybe fire into these guys up here. Massive clump over there. Okay, good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. These guys are being eliminated. We're good over here. I can actually push in and take care of Caladriel right now. Uh, these guys going to make it through. Actually getting some damage into these Dread Spears over here, so I'm not liking that too much. Once this is taken care of, we can reinforce the right flank over there. Fire one of these Dread Spears. Make sure they don't actually come into us. Pull you back over here. Maybe get a nice uh, charge. Let's get these guys charging in here. We just got Murderous Prowess as well. So this is... This battle should be over. Come on now. Finish this nonsense off. 
Arvin back here. Good. All right, and then we are still focused on Colabriel. Yes, we are. Now the Gaze of Cain is coming in soon. Push you up there. These guys need to fall back a little bit. Oh, fire. Juicy, juicy target. Dread Spears turning their backs to me. Absolute fools. Come on, drop them. Drop them hard. Kill for me. Or, you know, don't. There we go. Shots coming through. Doing a little bit of damage. Fair enough. And Caladriel's about to drop as well, so that's that's working out for me. Working out quite well for me. Get some support on this flank over here. Make sure we're not losing anything. Especially the units that, uh, you know, don't stick around. Oh, there we go. Shatters across the board, it's looking like. Yep, 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 yep. Now, I do want to try and eliminate as much as I can. Let's see, who, where are, where's anybody important? Yeah, yeah, let's go after Caladriel. I think she's faster than me though. She's speed 36 and I am speed 44 now. So I should be able to close that gap. Keep firing away. Come on now. There we go. All right, we'll speed it up. Let's not waste too much time here. Go over here and let's shut down Kallik the Dreadlord as well. In fact, I think I can close the gap to him. He's speed 36, yeah. Let's go in there with the Death Hag. Come on. I want to at least eliminate one Lord. Push you up here. There we go. Closing the gap. Cool. We can maybe eliminate both of them. Full speed ahead. Let's turn around, chase down some of these guys. We took a lot of damage. That's probably a Peric victory. It's probably a Peric victory, but a worthwhile one. Because this will leave Grand open for the taking. Damn, he's going to get away, isn't he? No! No, he's not. Close to victory. Okay. Sure, that's a surprise. I, I thought that was Pyrrhic. Did well enough, actually. Only lost 611, so okay, fine. I guess that's okay. 113 kills on these Sisters of Slaughter. Holy, and 106 and 110. Already some units coming up uh, that might be worth naming here. As always, feel free to give uh, name suggestions in the comments down below. I love integrating name suggestions, especially when they fit the tone of the campaign and the faction. Um, I grow super attached and uh, we have a lot of fun. That Queek campaign, a lot of the fun was because of the name suggestions and, and just following those characters and their stories and the stories that were being written in the comments. I love that stuff. Okay, capture Grand. That's the plan, buddy. Enemy killed in battle, Calix dead. I mean, I could chase after Caladriel's army first, but Grand, what's your situation? I guess the garrison's fine here because they didn't actually get involved in the battle. Um, so that's something. That's something to think about. And over here... Not in a rush to get Dance of Death just yet. Let's go with Dreaded Slaver, just to increase the amount of casualties we're getting so we can trigger Death Knight more often. Because, yeah, slaves, man. We we need slaves. Bad. Took a lot of damage, actually. Now, she would reinforce foolish? if we hit Grand, but her oh, army is pathetic and my. not really a cause for concern. Do I want to just poke holes is the question, or do I want to put it under siege? You know what? Let me, uh... Eliminate this army first. They, they get the garrison, but at least the garrison isn't going to have the walls. And I think we can take them on. Yeah, they don't have any cavalry or anything, so to the battlefield we go once again. Quick succession here. Let's, uh, let's eliminate Grand once and for all. Alright, here we go again. Lots of snow. I see, I see why these guys get tired of snow. Okay. I want to actually maybe send these guys right up ahead to eliminate this unit of uh, Dark Shards nice and early. There are some spears in there, but a good charge will mitigate their abilities if they're moving, so that's fine. Let's get you set up. I mean, might as well set them up over here. Oh, right. They can't Vanguard deploy. What are you thinking, Party Elite? All right, let's get... Uh, I'll make this as quick as possible. We're a little weak on that right flank. I don't like that. So let's put you guys over here. Let's rearrange this a little bit so it counters the front line. We can just kind of bulk in. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Help out on this flank as well with these guys and get the Hargoneth Executioners just hanging around. Maybe they can get a nice sort of rear flank. I want to make sure these Sisters of Slaughter don't actually die in this battle. Alright, good stuff. Let's, uh, let's go. Come on now. Roll on in. It's the worst that could happen. Push you off to the side here, so we can get in from the side. 
merciless host. Dealers in death. <laughs> Amazing. All right, yeah, yeah. So these dark shards are, are gone. That's that. That's the dark shards eliminated, more or less right away. And Caladriel is not going to be a problem either. Just dive in on her. Come on now. Be a little bit faster here. These spears are going to turn around. Uh, on her chill wind. Okay, let's get out of here before the spears start doing any work. Still wavering. We'll give up soon enough, I think. But whatever's left is not going to cause me much trouble. Just a little bit of morale damage here and there. All right, let's pull back in there. Spears is set up to turn around. And you know what? Since I do not have the patience, I'm going to roll up at the same time. I don't want them to get too much tree cover, obviously. I've got the arrows, so I want to take advantage of that. They have some, actually, they have some dark shards as well. All right, roll into this. Keeping these spears at bay. Let's move, 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 move. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Hopefully we can keep these guys free to come into the backs of these uh, dark shards. They are coming close. They might start firing away. A couple volleys will absolutely destroy us, so let's not let that happen. Keep moving forward. They'll be within range soon. Very soon, actually. Alright. Yeah, this will just make it easier to take that settlement and basically eliminate Grand in one swoop. Okay, in come the range shots. They do have their shields, but they are turning around for some reason. Oh, yeah, look at that. Make them bleed. Okay, okay, guys. You should just give up. You should know when your time's up. Moving towards Galadriel as well, so she's not able to chill wind us to all hell. Hate the snow enough as it is. It's all the uh, all these guys complaining about the snow. I'm pretty sure I heard Hellebron complaining about the snow when I... Uh... God damn it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I heard her complain about the snow as well when I was like preparing videos for uh, like my overview videos and stuff. So yeah, that's just, uh, that's just how they are, which is fair. Someone who lives in Canada, I can confirm that people who live in the snow for what, like 11 out of 12 months, they tend not to necessarily love it. Okay, fire away at these red spears over here while they're kind of moving to the side. Hopefully we can roll in on these dark shards easily. Spread that love a little bit. Okay, in come the shots. Yeah, these guys are gonna start dropping. Okay, let's turn around and focus on this right away, actually. I don't need to don't need to take any damage here. Okay, move you up. And time to charge. Halt. No need to push in. Got a nice charge going on over there. Counter charge these guys as well. Get the Hargonath Executioners in here. And uh, let's fire into this. Get a nice rear charge here. That should help fix that problem. Pull back over here. We'll get another cycle going over there, and that will take care of the Dark Shards for, well, I think, for good, pretty much. Turn back around more or less right away. Yeah, we're good here. That rear charge was nice and helpful. Let's take a look at these Sisters of Slaughter, since this is a much sort of softer battle. These guys look great, or I should say these girls look great. Fantastic work on the animations and the models. The whole whip infantry thing. I haven't seen too many, like, unique animations, but I imagine they've got some pretty interesting animations with that whip, and maybe some sync kills as well. Would be really nice to see. Uh, it's a good whip in action. Alright, and uh, hopefully we can get some more of the unique units out over the course of, well, over the early course of this campaign so I can show some of these things off to you guys. But uh, I am planning on releasing, I should have mentioned this earlier, I am planning on releasing uh, an episode hopefully every day until the DLC actually launches. So you'll have something new to see here sort of consistently. That should help, you know, deal with the uh, the fact that it's not out yet. All right, come on now. Go a chasing. Get you down here. Pull you over here. Okay, I think we can speed it up. No need to just sit and watch this. Pull these guys back. Send you in here. There's Murder's Prowess. They are still fighting for some reason. They're still, still fighting. There we go. That's the victory. I don't need to really work too hard on this one. I mean, I could still fire away on some of these guys. You guys, come on. Hit these Dread Spears. Eliminate them. Let's pull you guys back so we're not taking any friendly fire. And, uh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine across the board. So these guys will drop with that volley over there. Oh, my God. Wish the snow actually stained red. Be nice to see the trails of blood as, like, army movement is, like, registered. And let's actually get this eliminated as well. 
Oh, it's just Dark Shards. That's fine. You can keep those Dark Shards. Decisive victory. Glory for Crone Hellebron. <laughs> so used to saying glory for Queek. Yeah, that was that was easy. That wasn't going to be a challenge. 104 kills on these guys. Good stuff. 53 on the sisters. These guys almost got wiped out. Uh, they might actually be completely disbanded. Maybe they survived. We'll see. Yeah, huh. what do you know? They survived. Good for them. Let's get those slaves. I need I need some death. I need some death knight real bad. All right, the other trickster is shard. Okay, fair enough. We can move right into Grand. Right, unlock sacrifice to Cain. Which one is that again? I memorize these. That gives me income from slaves increase, casualty capture. Okay, okay, okay. Dark conduit. All right. Not in a rush. I'm more in a rush to save my money. And let's move into well, rather, let's level up first. I think. Yeah, the garrison is not going to be a problem. Let's get ourselves. Uh, Hmm. Could get the extra money from looting right now, but no, no, no. Let's let's go with Dreaded Slaver. I want to get Dreaded Slaver all the way just to help with the whole slave situation, and then maybe a step of Infamous Raider because we'll be looting for the slaves as well. So this gives us more money. I want to get to Lightning Strike as quickly as possible, as always, and then we can look at Dance of Death down this line. And yeah, we'll we'll take a look at that stuff. And then over here as well, we've got uh, the Death Hag leveling up. I think we'll go with Dance of Death now. Actually, let's buff Replenish Troops, considering the situation we're in. And we're going to roll right into Grand. We're guaranteed to lose something here. So we'll, we'll build. We'll, we have time. Continue the siege. Until they actually get an army started, I'm not very worried. So we'll, we'll take our time there. I'll build a couple of uh, towers and, and deal with that nonsense. Spite Reach can be upgraded, or I can wait nine turns to get Harganeth upgraded. It's very tempting to do that, actually. Just so I can free up a slot for uh, level three buildings. But let's let's do this. Let's do this. This is still ruins. Good stuff. Good stuff. Yeah, Grand will fall pretty easily, which is good. I, I don't want to take too much time dealing with this situation now. They got a new army coming. Fair enough. Don't want to be caught between a rock and a hard place. Is all. Should have actually broke like made holes in the walls here. Sign a non-aggression pact with Clar Carond. I even know these guys. Clara Carond. Clara Carond. Oh, these guys? Can we even... Okay. What's up? Oh, okay. That's weird. I can't actually... talk to them yet. Fair enough. I'll do that when I get the chance. Again, I want to end the fighting at home as soon as possible. And I Dude, think I can actually auto-resolve this. I'll probably lose a couple of these bleak swords. I can wait one more turn. You know what? Let's wait one more turn. Don't think this army is about to roll out into me. And even if it does, it's probably going to be an auto-resolve. Because if that garrison decides to step step out, then just better for me. Yeah, we're, we're probably going to trigger a rebellion here. That's fine. Not going to be the end of the world at all. Not at all. Ooh, what are you doing, Nagarond? Already stronger than me, eh? Already stronger than me. And recruiting uh, Supreme Sorceresses as well. Nice addition to the Supreme Sorceresses. They've got uh, some interesting... They've got a very interesting item. They've got a wind spell item, which is probably the scariest uh, wind spell to look at. Like, not actually scary, per se, but uh, it uh, it's ominous. That. Ominous, I think, is the word I'm looking for. Yeah, let's do this. Auto-resolve that. No need to fight this. Yeah, thought so. Lost those bleak swords. Ooh, lost another unit of bleak swords, actually. We have to recruit that back right away. Loot and occupy. We need them slaves. This is not a good situation to be in. More money at least though, so that's good. And ensure we have a temple of Hecarti. Okay, fair enough. I'll do that where I can. Let's repair this though. And we do have the gold mine as well, so at least we'll be getting some money. And this is not a good situation to be in. I have to go all the way back to recruit, which is a problem. Stick with Dreaded Slaver. Maybe we'll do the red line instead of the yellow line next. And over here, uh, let's go with Dance of Death. It's feeling like we're about to have another battle. They've got two armies coming. Oh, dear. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. That's actually a thing now. Because we can't recruit at Grand. It's a bit of a joke. Okay. Wouldn't want to have to fall back to Harganeth. Hmm... Interesting situation to be sure. We're about to lose our uh, our buffs completely from Death Knight, and in fact, we're gonna drop right into debuffs. So, not liking that. Okay, she's gonna roll in. No, no, still mustering. 
Still recruiting. I can roll up and maybe take... Maybe I can take them out right now, actually. It's two armies plus the garrison. I ensure I've got... Okay, yeah, cool. Lots of lots of missions. Race for the Vortex. Yeah, okay, cool. Lots of missions. Death hag. Hmm. You waste my time. Maybe I could roll them right now, actually. Ah, uh, that's probably not a good idea. I'd rather fall back, Blood Queen replenish Agonet. one turn, recruit another, and then come back up here to eliminate these guys. 16 out of 20 is not a very healthy army. Making sure I'm not missing anything here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, let's rush back. Right at the edge here so we can make it back to Grand if necessary. It'll take us two turns to march back, but, you know, we'll, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. They can't take it in one turn, so there's that. Okay, good stuff. Spite Reach can build some stuff. We could do this for the extra public order, uh, but that'll fix itself soon enough. Or I could get something here. Maybe we can get some Shades going. Not a bad idea, Shades, and then Shades with Great Swords and Shades with Dual Weapons are nice units to have. Would not mind that whatsoever. Or we could get some walls. Again, I have a history with walls. And the not building of walls. Alright, let's do this. Let's go with... Yeah, you know, let's let's go with the, uh, the Den of Outlaws. Den of Outlaws, and we can afford to upgrade this as well, so let's do that. We've got Okay, with a gold mine now, we've got a decent income. So that's good. I feel a lot more comfortable about that. A lot more comfortable. Okay, and that turn there. These guys are still going to be recruiting, but if I get this up to a 20 stack, I think I'll be able to eliminate that with minimal issue. Especially if I have Krond as a as a sort of staging ground. The place to stand with a garrison, walls and stuff. But again, I just want to eliminate the faction post-haste. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, one turn of recruiting. We just, we're missing two units of Bleak Swords, and we can get a unit of Dark Shards with shields. Just to give us the advantage there. We can afford it now. Then we'll roll on back to Grand. Grand is repairing its walls. These guys are mustering hard. They're going ham on that mustering. But that's fine. Ah, damn it, they took the Great Arena. God damn it, Nagarond. Ah. They did the smart thing. I was a fool. Fool of a took. They're both rolling out, I'm guessing? No, okay. Well, that's a bit of a mistake bit of a mistake. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. All right, Rebel and Suffering has been researched, so let's get, uh... I'm wondering... Because I'd like to get that plus one to public order. Okay, you know what? Let's do this first. The casualties captured post-battle. It's been really low so far, and like I said, we're bitter already, so I'm, I'm kind of nervous about this whole thing, actually. Hmm. Okay, so I can't reach this army right away, but I can get into Grand if I force march. So let's do that. We'll probably scare them off. It's fine. We've got a 19 stack. If they bring everything, I'll still be fine. I'll be able to chase this out even. So uh, come at me is, I guess, what I'm saying here. It's too bad about Nagaron taking the Great Arena. That's fine. We'll we'll roll in and take Kark soon. And uh, we'll try and get this stuff before they're able to get it. Some of this stuff definitely belongs to Skaven factions. I just got to keep... Be prepared for that. Fighting the Skaven is, is oh my god. I hated it in my Tomb Kings campaign. Partly because I love the Skaven and partly because their the whole ambush thing is a nightmare. Okay. They're popping out towards me? No, they're not falling back like cowards because that's what they are. Okay. I feel like I need to push in and take a risk here. With my superior tactical capabilities. Take Ashrak by force. All right, Crone Helebron is strict. That'll help public order. Good. Not that I need it here, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, I guess I just roll forward. I can't sit back and let them keep recruiting over here. They're not recruiting right now. Uh, so they might actually fall back next turn. If I march, I'll be able to hit Ashrak in one turn, I think. Yeah, so what I'll do is I'll wait to see if they start recruiting and then I'll move in. But if they roll back just to better my chances here. If they roll back, then I can take Ashrek without any issue. And I'd rather that. I don't want to suffer losses unnecessarily. 
Where are you going? Are you just swapping around? There we go. That's what I'm talking about. So we'll roll on up. Let her suffer attrition up there. We'll take Ashrak next turn. And uh, unfortunately, not secure the province. Because such is my fortune. Okay, so Rotoskull is about to lose its mind here. Cease your provocations! Not so good. Guaranteed Rebellion next turn. They'll probably roll into Harganeth. We have a decent garrison. We'll have enough time to pull on back. That army will roll down to hit Ashrak, though, which is a bit of a problem. Okay, let's roll in. I think I can auto-resolve this. Actually, I should probably fight this one. I'm a little worried that we're going to lose something because of the AI. And uh, if I'm going to respond to a Rebellion next turn, I don't necessarily want to lose anything here. So to the battlefield we go. Let's eliminate... Uh, Let's eliminate these guys. Cladriel's back to die. Great. Alright, this should not be too much of a struggle. Let's get ourselves set up real quick. Try and make this battle a quick one, because I want to try and deal with that rebellion this session, rather than have to wait until next session. Again, I like to do hour-long episodes, uh, just because I, I think they're convenient for watching, and they're it's most certainly easier to manage. Okay, let's do this. And then again, I am planning on doing uh, daily episodes, hopefully uh, every day until the launch of the DLC. I'm going to try and keep that up. Uh, my day job has kind of been ridiculous over this week as well, which was not very helpful. So it might continue into the weekend, actually. I might be working on the weekend, which is going to suck. But hopefully I'll be able to get an episode out every day and get you some sweet Hellebron action. I might also do a uh, an Aleph Anar campaign if you guys are interested at the same time because he is pretty interesting as well he's got some interesting faction mechanics and uh i mean if we can have some fun we can have some fun right all right come on now close the gap a little bit faster oh their dark shards have shields which i don't like look at these guys turning around over here let's get you over here let's get this over here let's get you up front All right, fire away. Let's get these guys pushing into the side here. We've got some Dread Spears to deal with, but hopefully we get some neat charges in here from the backs. Maybe they'll free up the Dark Shards by the time we actually get there. Make sure they don't get through that gap over there. And let's make sure we don't actually lose any Knights back here. Push you in, push you through, push you right through. Rear charge over here. Get you guys in here as well. Get you up here. How we doing? Pull you back here. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. Push you through and push you in here. Okay, cool. Alright, this will work out well for us. Let's pop this uh, over here to help out. And let's fire away over here. Let's do that. A rear charge would be nice and helpful over here, actually. So let's get that going. And let's get the cavalry here. Push through and eliminate these Dark Shards, please, and thank you. That'd be fantastic. Let's get you guys up front, get a nice rear charge somewhere. Yeah, this, is gonna go, this is gonna go pretty well, I think. Ooh. Death Hag, not having a good time. Giving up on the fight. Oh, because it's Death Hag versus Death Hag. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough. Bad call on my part. Blackheart Corsairs as well. So not the best situation for me over here. Come on now, push in through. Keep these guys busy. This is not ideal. Rear charge over here. Oof. That death hag getting a lot of work done. These guys just not really fighting properly. Come on now. Okay, got a rear charge in there. How are we doing? How are we doing? Put you guys back in here. All right. Fire away. Eliminate this clump. That'd be great. These guys are both routing, so that's not ideal. If she can at least get out, that'd be great. <laughs> I would appreciate that. Keep firing away the back of these uh, Black Arc Corsairs. Let's get this charge over here. Keep these guys over there. All right. Good stuff. She's still very much fine. I should have gone in after her. All right. There we go. There's the murderous prowess. That should do the trick. Going there. Rear charge over there. That'll eliminate that nonsense. Okay, good. Our uh, Death Hag managed to get out, so that's good. All right, and all this range support is absolutely just destroying that left flank of the enemy there. Good stuff. Rear charge over there. We'll finish them off. 
push in there. Three seconds until I get another cast of these. Might actually use it in this central situation again, just to help these guys out. There we go. And the Death Hag is back as well. Okay, good stuff. What's back over here? Let's get you guys back up front. Diving in. Firing away. These Dark Shards will be eliminated shortly. Let's make sure we don't get caught up by spears. Alright, good recovery, good recovery. Push you through. Come on now. Fire into this. Keep in here, actually. Pull you through. I need to make sure these guys don't die. Let's get you out there, actually. Okay, hopefully none of these guys return. We're getting shatters across the board, it looks like. There we go. Good stuff. Wow. All right. Didn't see the death hag in there for some reason. I just kind of let that uh, let that happen. Victory is ours. Close one. I'll take it. Took some bad hits there. 100 kills on those sisters of slaughter again, though, so that's nice. 104 on these dark shards, 103 on these ones. All right, easy enough. Easy enough. Probably gonna have to abandon this town. Maybe I'll just raise it. Okay, close victory. Sack it. A lot of money, a lot of slaves. I can pop uh, Death Knight, which would be helpful. Actually, a lot of slaves either way. Ah, uh, you know what? Maybe I sack it out. I won't be able to hold it if that army returns. So let's sack it. And let's, uh... Gotta move on. Gotta get back here super fast. Make sure that we don't, uh lose an important settlement all right we're good here we're good here uh let's pop infamous raider and i can activate death knight and i think that's a good idea because we are bitter right now and that's hurting public order as you can see oh boy that's hurting public order a lot grand what have you got for me we can upgrade grand mm. yeah no reason not to maybe we can actually get some military structures going on over there as well something. Upgrade the gold mine at least so we can get more money coming. Alright, let's activate Death Knight. And yep, yeah, in Hargoneth, the Dark Elf desire for murder and blood is kept in abeyance by the strictest of laws in Nagaroth. Only on Death Knight are these laws put on hold and the Druki permitted to unleash their true instincts. Bloody excess and wanton slaughter flood the boulevards and plazas, all under Hellebron's intense gaze. Tonight is Death Knight. Hellebron will meet the dawn revitalized and strong from the night's bloody orgy, although over time she will wither once more. In the Death Knight's aftermath, her followers are sated, their murderous impulses gratified for now. But you can see, so we get a blood voyage next turn, which is great, but uh, the slave requirement goes up by a hundred. It's not easy. It's not easy staying young like this. Not easy. Uh, the public order helps a touch. Plus three now. Damn, I should have taken Ashrak. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. A life of regrets. What is life without some regrets, right? You don't make some mistakes, you're not you're not having a good time. I need to replenish this army anyway, so we'll just pop into Grand. Ugh. Shoulda taken Ashrock. Alright. See that. There we go, so there's our blood voyage. Set sail. Yep, yep, the remnants of those who fought in the streets, dear lord. So they're going to roll on their own, and uh, they should be heading to Ulthwan to deal with that nonsense. Uh, the High Elves over there, while I, like, once we take care of Ulthwan, I can sort of take over. What's the deal here? So, faction building, taxes, difficulty, and slaves are causing trouble. So, you know, let me, let's stop with the slaves over here a little bit. And I could roll right up immediately, actually. These guys are pretty badly hurt. I don't think the garrison, uh, the garrison's back. That was a bit of a mistake. A little bit of a mistake. Uh, what I'm going, going to do, actually, is I'm going to, again, I'm going to force march down here. Replenish. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I want to bait these guys out. I want them to come back down. Ah. Teaches me to be patient. And this is why I opt for impatience. This is why I'd rather just rush and take risks and possibly deal with a rebellion on two fronts. <laughs> Alright, Blood Voyage. Malevolent yeah. Lord. Rolling? Do I have to like give you give you an order or something? Why aren't you why aren't you rolling out? Why are you just hanging out there, buddy? Blood queen. Well that didn't help. These guys are still up here, they're still recruiting, so I might actually want to uh Bloody handed priestess. 
Ah, oh, dear. Okay, let's head up to Grand. We'll see what they do. We'll see what they decide to do. I was hoping to bait them out, but... They're being smart. I should probably recruit a second army, actually. I think I have the money for it. I've got the income for it, at least, I think. Alright, come at me. Come on. Come on, be aggressive. More aggressive than that. Ooh. That would work if I didn't see exactly where you lay that ambush. My hatred for your kind boils my blood. Okay, so evidently I don't like these people. They demand money and they offer to join war against Grand. You know what? Not beyond using people. Ah, nah. I don't need your help. I don't need your help. Alright, Blood Voyage is on its way. To Ulthuan, hopefully causing a fair bit of damage over there. Again, these guys, uh, they don't replenish. They don't... They move really fast. They've got extra, like, campaign movement and stuff. But they don't, like, replenish or anything. So they will slowly die off and, uh, and like, be eliminated. Now, we have some upgrades waiting for us. I could get this up to level 3. Let's do that so I can get uh, the entertainment line going and get the Sisters of Slaughter. Or again, maybe the Witch Elves. Let's get the gold mine happening as well. Let's get more money coming in. And over here, we can get the Temple of Hecardi to get those scrolls of Hecardi generating. Not a bad idea, I think. Again, we do have to keep in mind our main objective. Do we have to keep that in mind? I yeah, see, once we get the Torture Post happening, the Public Order boost is going to be helpful. Okay. Let's go here. Let's go to the Temple of Hecardi over here. It just makes sense. That's why we took this place. What and now we know there's an ambush waiting for us, so let's not do anything silly. Ooh, you know what, in fact. Let's, uh, you want to ambush me? Ambush me? I'm going to ambush your ambush. 40%, 70%. All right, I'll take the 70%. Where are we? Can I not actually get a decent... Anything above 40%, really? That's all you, That's all you got to give me? Okay, fair enough. I guess I'll take that then. We'll stay on our side of the border. And, uh, yeah, ambush stance. Sure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Alright, and the turn there. And hopefully we can just get rid of these guys. I'd like to at least get rid of them this, this session. <laughs> uh. The least I'd like to see happen. Yeah, come, come, come here. Damn it. Fair enough. I can I can take care of this army, no problem. They've isolated themselves, so this is no longer an issue for me. Alright. Skip ahead. I do get vision from them as well, because we are a military ally, so I'll be able to see what the situation is uh, all the way off in the distance in Ulthuan. Alright, continuous slave supply. That's excellent. I do need that. And let's up our uh, public order situation. Raiding and post-battle loot isn't bad either. Ah, so many good options always at the beginning. Let's go with biz uh, battle as you as business. Jeez, battle as business. Get more money flowing in. Income's not as high as it once was. I do want to secure a second army as quickly as possible. Let's pop into Helenor. Probably gonna fall back. Always yeah, not surprised. Oh, into this little nook here. You absolute fool. You absolute fool. We're gonna auto resolve this, and we're gonna suffer for it. Jeez. All right, we'll take the slaves. That'll give us enough for another death knight. Not that I need it immediately. Ooh, or I could. No, no, no. Let's uh, let's let's go with the slaves. The replenishment's going to be helpful as well. It's a pretty pretty big bump actually. All right, Helenor is dead, and we have leveled up once more. Fantastic. Let's go in with draft master, and uh, then lightning strike. Not in a rush to get the dark steed, I think. Actually. Well, it removes the other trickster's shard. Oh, no, no, it's just not showing me. Okay. So I could get this, get more speed, more health, the charge bonus as well. Draft Master Lightning Strike. You know, let's go with the Dark Steed uh, because Lightning Strike can wait. This is the only thing these guys have left, and that uh, does not require... Does not require Lightning Striking. Let's pop on over. And I'm going to have to actually fight this one. Yeah, let's take this to the battlefield and eliminate these guys once and for all, for real this time. Glorious let's kill them. Alright, let us bathe in the blood of the Druki from Grand here. Come on. 
Let's get set up real fast. Don't want to waste too much time here. Let's make it quick. Um, that's our front line. A little weak in the middle there. Very weak in the middle there, actually. I don't recall. I don't think they have any cavalry, actually. We can Vanguard deploy. Pop them right in here. Not both hidden. I would at least like them both to be hidden. There we go. All right, there's our front line. Hargoneth Executioners. Let's get you over here. And let's get the Sisters of Slaughter. Actually, you know what? Let's get them both over here. That's really weak up front. Okay, we're good over here. Dark Shards a little bit further up. All right. Good enough for me. Again, just trying to do this quick. Oh, these guys can get spotted basically right away. Let's push in. Come on now. Alright. Fall back. I just want those dark shards to like stay behind so I can eliminate them before they start firing away at some of these troops of mine. I also need to take care of Moran... Moransti? Moransti. Okay. Okay, good, yeah. Fall behind. Fall behind. Do just that. Do exactly that. And these bleak swords... Ah, oh, silver shields, damn it. Well, that's all we've got, so that's it's what we're going to do. Right, let's push on in. Come on now, far away. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, we're rolling here. Ho, 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 ho. Wow, all right. I underestimated just how many I actually had. All right, let's push in. Get you in here right away. Let's get you in here right away. Pull you guys back. Fire into this nonsense. Pull you around. And let's get this going in this massive clump in the center here. There we go. Fire away over there. We're good over here. We should be fine. We should be fine. Okay. Pull you guys back in for maybe another charge. Chase after that nonsense. These guys are going to fall pretty soon. We can turn around and get a rear charge of these bleak swords perhaps scare them off. Alright, in we go. In we go for a nice charge, please and thank you. Yeah, these guys are not going to last too long. Okay, pulling a rear charge over there. Death Hag's doing alright. We're doing okay over here. These guys are going to fall apart. Excellent, excellent. Jeez, oh, that 90 second cooldown. Okay, pull these guys back. You guys can keep firing away though. These three can fire at these bleak swords as they leave. Or actually, no, fire at these dark shards. Pull you guys back into safety. We'll get another cycle in there, I think. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Down you go. Let's pull you off to assist over here. Yeah, these dress spears aren't going to last very long. Okay. Those dark shards are taken care of. We'll get a nice rear charge in here. And we see these ladies in battle, actually. Huh. They actually have a lot of similar animations as the other Witch Elves, as you can see. It's just that they have the, uh... Ow, that would have hurt real bad. They just have the whips instead, so it looks a little different, but... Oh, are you really gonna come back? You really wanna come back, buddy? While I have Murderous Prowess? Come on now. Come on now, don't be a fool. Be smart. Pull these guys back. We might lose these Bleak Swords over here. You guys are kind of caught in battle over here. It's fine, not the end of the world. Okay, pull back. Pull you in over here. And let's send you up that way. And we're going to be able to pop this again, so... That should be the end of this contingent over here. And let's turn around and fire into these Dread Spears. Not that we need to. Let's fire into these Dread Spears instead, actually. Help the Death Hag out a little bit. What's going on over here? Pull you back out. Oh no, looks like we don't need to do anything. We might have lost this unit of uh, Bleak, Bleak Swords, uh, mainly because I can't say the name of the unit right now, and partially because uh, I kind of treated them poorly apart from that as well. Decisive victory though, so that went well. Yeah, we only lost 373. 103 kills! I oh, love it. 106 on the Hargoneth Executioners. Good, good, good. Good. Racking up those kills. I wish the campaigns actually kept a track of kills over multiple battles. I would love that kind of a stat. I mean, you can see it with a ranking up, but you know, it's just not the same. Especially with a faction like the Druki. 
All right, loot and occupy or just occupy? I've got enough slaves. This is not going to give me that much money because we just sacked it, so we're just going to occupy. We're going to have to deal with public order over here, but faction destroyed. Grand have been obliterated. There is nothing left apart from the echoing laughter of thirsting gods. Beautiful. Moransti was the last one there. Dead. We've got the shield of Grand. Oh, okay, interesting. Cool. Works for me. And uh, we now have... Okay, let's see. You've leveled up. So we can get, uh, we can go down this path now. I think what I might want to do is, let's go with Impassion. That melee defense is pretty low, and it was, it was showing its limitations in that previous battle. She was taking a lot of damage. And what's the deal here? Negative five public order, but that's okay. It's not going to last very long. We can upgrade this, maybe get some walls or something going on over here. We've got a lot of money. We've got a lot of money, not a lot of income. So hopefully as the gold mine gets, you know, ranked up or, or built up, that situation will fix itself and we can get that second army going finally. I want to roll up to Kark. We've taken care of Grand. I imagine Nagarond has grown quite strong. They've probably taken all of these ruins. But I'm not trying to pick a fight with them. In fact, they're happy with me and I'm happy with them. We're getting along just fine. My eyes now are on Ulthuan, or rather the Shrine of Cain. I maybe will take uh, take these guys up on a war. They're, they're hankering for a fight here. They don't like me. Oh, it's improving though. Shh. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. But that will allow me to take uh, the Road of Skulls completely and at least complete that objective. Either way, all of that chatter is for the next session. We have just gone over that hour mark, and I, as I said, I do like to try and keep these an hour long. Next session, we're going to pull Crone Helebron back, uh, take Cork, maybe take the Black Pillar, uh, take Nagrar as well, just destroy the Deadwood Sentinels, basically, and then move on towards, uh, towards the Shrine of Cain. We have this... Uh, army moving forward. It'd be nice if I can actually synchronize with them, and I do also need to pick up this uh, this treasure over here for the extra money it gives me. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed this session. Uh, again, I've got other videos about Crone Helebron, about uh, Ilariel, about Aletha Nar. All the units, everything has been broken down uh, from the new DLC and the FLC as well. I hate that term, FLC. It doesn't make sense. Freeloadable content. Uh, nonetheless, uh, check it out. It's in the description down below. If you had a good time, let me know. Drop a comment. Drop a like. It helps me judge what content you'd like to see. It also helps the channel out significantly. Uh, and, of course, if this is your first time watching this channel, have a look around. And if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe, I suppose. And hit the bell button because YouTube's doing some ridiculous stuff with uh, subscriber notifications. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. And until next time... From Harganeth, looking beautiful, looking like the Blood Queen. I bid you farewell and cheers.